Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and I am so excited because we are going to be riding Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I cannot wait to share all my experiences with you. I'm going to show you the queue, the full ride, and it's just going to be so much fun. So I figured I'd make a little video. We're going to ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. It is a beautiful day out today. Temperatures are in the low 90s, but at least we got some wind, and wind is all that matters. And I couldn't ask for a better day. Look at that. <laughs> Same shirt, Shirt Brothers. <laughs> I love that. Just about a year ago, Disney invited me to join the Imagineers who created this ride uh, to take a trip to New Orleans and retrace their steps and kind of figure out and learn how they came up and how they got all their inspiration. And it was amazing. I mean, the detail and everything that goes into this ride was so well researched. We went out on the bayou with the Imagineers and even all the animals that you see inside the attraction are animals you can only see in the bayou the music we went to preservation hall and it's just amazing to be able to be here today and see it all come together and here it is tiana's bayou adventure from now until june 28th when it opens they're doing technical rehearsals they have cast member previews media events and i'm excited to ride i'm excited to see what it's going to look like at night because this looks amazing already as most of you know, Tiana's Bayou Adventure is replacing, well, it replaced Splash Mountain, which was an attraction here, and it was beloved by many, and I've enjoyed riding it for many of years, and I kind of feel like there's a new generation of Disney fans out there, and they're never going to get a chance to actually ride what Splash Mountain, you know, ride Splash Mountain, and uh, I kind of make it, 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 it reminds me of Epcot, because I've always wanted to ride World of Motion, but I never got the chance to ride it but all I have is from people telling me how great World of Motion and Horizons was and I get to watch videos and that's like you know what people are gonna have to do you know they're gonna have to you know talk about their favorite scenes in Splash Mountain tell people all and the new generation is gonna have Tiana's Bayou Adventure to look out for and enjoy for the next couple years Sadly, it looks like uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure has been down for most of the day, but it looks like there's signs of it opening up soon, so we're just going to hang out here. It's very nice, though, and I think later on I'll show you more of the exterior of the queue. We're going to wait it out however long we can actually wait it out for, but fingers crossed it uh, opens back up. And honestly, the sun's starting to go down a little bit, so we might be able to see it kind of transition a little bit of day a little bit of night or maybe maybe we'll ride it at night oh that actually things might work out in our favor <laughs> we've been waiting for several hours several hours and it's starting to look happy so it looks like something's going on here <laughs> Oh boy, we're going in. I can't believe it's happening. I can hear the music. Look at the main entrance there. Wow. It definitely looks like we're going to be able to ride it at night with it all lit up and looking majestic. And I'm excited. We've been here for quite a long time. It's uh, definitely getting late. And we honestly might even see it with the fireworks. Yeah, like as we're going down, can you imagine? Wow! Oh. And that's where you get the photos. Here is the main entrance, and there's that iconic sign there. Attention, 50-foot plunge ahead. Tiana's Bayou Adventure is a turbulent flu. Flume Adventure with high speeds, heights, and sudden drops and stops. Oh, look at it in here. This is nice. We just waded through a basically a full queue just like this. And I'd say it took us about 35 minutes to get up the steps. Just about. So it's moving pretty fast when it is running. Wow, look at it. It's actually really cool with all the photos. Here's Tiana's family photos right there. 
Then you got a little pantry in there. Look at that. There's the beignets. That's what we need. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine if this was a beignet stand? You could just buy beignets in line. All day. Oh, I smell it a little bit. Oh, that's the wood. I smell something. Could be this wood. Oh my lord, it's happening. Oh, I can smell it. It's that smell right here. <laughs> We're in the mines. Salt mines, please call for help. Yeah, maybe they widen it out a little bit. TNT storage. We're officially in the salt mines. Oh, look, and they even have a little safety video. Stow your items at your feet. Ah. There's always like this like one AC vent in here that always hits really hard. I can feel like it's this one right here. Let's <laughs> cool off for a little bit. We're getting up to the last chance to exit. It's this little bridge you have to take that helps you get across uh, the loading station. Look at this! You can see the uh, salt melt. Look at that! The tree! It's looking good. Looks like we're going front row. There's a lot of speculation on which one gets you more wet. I just want to ride it. Oh boy, that initial drop though. We're doing it. <laughs> front row. Oh boy, front row. Oh. This is so awesome. The castle's nice and lit up.
They all come to the party to play. But let's explore a bit more. So beautiful. Wow. This is the worst part. Oh. Never want to get caught on this side for a long time.
I smell the beignets. Well, I can't believe we got the fireworks. This was so amazing. What a way to end it. I think I'm about 25% uh, wet. 25% wet. <laughs> Are we gonna get our photos? Oh yeah, automatically, right? Wow, oh, the queue's empty now, guys. Wow. We're gonna try to make our way down to uh, uh, Main Street USA so we can catch the end of the fireworks and maybe get a head uh, start on getting out of the park. And then we'll talk about Tiana's, but initially, I loved it, I had fun, it was great. <laughs> but we'll get more a little bit later. That's a beautiful point of view. Uh. Oh, wow. I wish the cheeseburger spring roll cart was still open. We were baking under the sun for a while there. Here comes Tink! Yeah. I'm looking for a beautiful Dalmatian named Gracie! Where's she at? There she is! Woohoo! What are you doing? Oh, look at you! Well, I guess we can call it a day. I had a lot of fun riding Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And uh, I honestly just love the way the day planned out because riding at night was amazing. Like, <laughs> I know that there's a lot of people out there when it comes to new attractions, you know, they want the best and the best. And you know what I mean? They want they want to see everything come true. And I feel the same way. I'm getting very passionate about Disney rides because it kind of gives me like that, you know, feeling when I'm riding a ride, it's excitement and it makes me happy. And at the end of the day, that's, that's what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? If I can get on a ride and smile through it or get off just like feeling like all right I feel better or like yeah I'm excited you know what I mean whether it be a thrill or just something that just catches your eye and you're just mesmerized that's what I'm looking for and honestly I feel like Tiana's Bayou Adventure did that it did it so well because I was smiling I was happy riding it the music I was bopping along and at night like I said I was so captivated like you know uh, during the day uh, I, I can tell how some of these things aren't going to be as like effective, like the lighting effect going up the hill uh, before you hit the 50 uh, foot plunge. It was so cool. It was like a spiral. And like I, I was just like zoning out and staring up. And because it was pitch dark outside, it like just looked amazing. And I don't think you get that during the day. So I, I can't wait. I can't wait to ride it. You know what I mean? But if you guys have seen any videos where or if you had to if you got to ride it, if you rode it uh, during the day or night, let me know which one you prefer because honestly that's gonna be hard to top like <laughs> at night it was a game changer especially with the Tiana's uh, like water tower uh, uh, water out front the outside lighting and then even going down to the laughing place everything was so vibrant and like bright you know it, it blew my mind and I really really enjoyed it the animatronics now like you know you you, you can't have the perfect ride of course you know it, it's not gonna be able to make every Everybody happy uh, but you know there are some things that I'm like oh, I wish that they would do this too but you know that's just me yeah, I'm sure the people that they have you know putting it together they're, they're thinking of a wide group of people they're looking at everybody and that's not a hard that's not an easy thing to do you know but like the animatronics one of the things I wish I seen more is if they were spread out because it looks like there was a lot of scenes when the animatronics were grouped together uh, and uh, uh, in the uh, previous attraction, you would see the uh, animatronics kind of as you're going on the boat, like one here, one here, one here, and they were all different types, so it kind of prolonged the ride. Uh, now it, it seems like uh, they're all glumped up together, and then you move to the next scene. Uh, but the animatronics are phenomenal, and I think that they're so cutting edge, and I don't know. 
I loved it. I thought it was a great ride. And at the end of the day, like I said, the most important thing is, is if you walked away with a smile and if you enjoyed it. And I can say I did. I enjoyed it a lot. So uh, let me know, like I said in the comments, what's your thoughts uh, overall? And uh, if you've seen it during the day and night, which one do you think you would prefer riding? Or which one did you, did you prefer riding? And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.